If you want to learn photography faster, then look no further than the streets in your own neck of the woods. Street photography is to me the toughest to master and the best on which to learn. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a few reasons why I think this is the absolute truth. Mm, 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 mm. So good to be seen and it's even better to see what's going on. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how streets can take your photography to the next level. Without further ado, let's get into reason number one, and that's the fact that nobody is a model. Let's face facts here. 99% of the people walking the streets are not models. That is to say, they're not going to stop on a dime, strike a pose all of a sudden, or walk into your frame when you tell them to. These are everyday folks just minding their own business, getting to where they need to be, and paying little to no mind to John Smith hanging out at the corner of Johnson and Fifth Avenue. Now, what I mean by this is that you're going to have to exercise your creativity if you wanna take a picture of that man walking down the sidewalk in a trench coat or that mother holding hands with her daughter crossing the street. Because they don't care about your existence, you now have to figure out what shutter speed ISO and aperture you're going to use in order to capture them at the right moment. Now, I think that this is going to make you think on your feet. And as a result, you're going to learn how to manipulate your settings on the fly and get the competition composition and final image that you were after. Moreover, this type of mentality is going to polish your skill set when it comes to candidates. If there's anything a bride loves, it's a great candidate of herself or her with her partner. Reason number two why I think you should practice street photography is because weather and light is always changing. Now, let's say that you set out to shoot on a perfect overcast day. The clouds are probably providing a natural softbox and you're living the dream snapping bangers left and right. All of a sudden, the wind starts blowing the clouds and taking it with them. Next thing you know, it's high noon and the sun is blazing. So what now? You're stuck between a rock and a hard place because you don't know how to counteract what just happened. Changing climate swept the rug from under your feet. This is the perfect opportunity to learn that you now have to crank the shutter or bring the ISO as low as it can possibly go. In some instances, you even have to strap on an ND filter, which you probably never knew you had to do in that situation. In order to do this, you're going to learn the hard way, the layout of your buttons, and in time, will be able to maneuver your settings with your eyes closed. This is why I think that street photography is the best on which to learn. It keeps you guessing, it creates alerts and awareness at the most inopportune times so that you can circumvent adversity and become the best photographer you can possibly be. And finally, and not the least bit of importance, Reason number three why street photography is the best way to go is because it's always open, you never have to book anyone, and it's completely free. Not to mention legal. As long as you, you know, don't commercialize anyone's likeness, you can upload literally anything to social media as long as it's public. This means that anyone and anything that's out in the open is fair game and can be photographed. This is great for you because you get to practice both day and night for as long as you want, get to play in both sunrise and sunsets, and don't have to worry about booking clients. Now, granted, street photography is hard to monetize like Monadis on social media and Professor Hines do, but the real payment here is about getting home with bangers every time out and learning along the way. So there you have it. Those are my reasons as to why you should get out there and practice between events. If you got some value out of this video, hit that thumb, you know where. And at the end of the day, I'm here because I want to be a person of value to you. And if that's the case, stick around. I'd love to have you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Quick video today. My name is Francis, and I will see you in the next episode.